Mike Bordick and uh, Mike, when you look back at the, the Orioles' recent starters, what's impressed you most over this, let's say, like last eight games? Well, obviously, I think their consistency most important. Uh, but I like to see the way that they're mixing up their pitches. You know, they're not relying on one pitch right now. They're really throwing some uh, secondary pitches early in the count. They're starting to get hitters off balance, and it's helping their fastballs play up. And that doesn't go for just one guy. Everybody's really starting to do that. Even in yesterday's start, Wade Miley started to flip in a lot of breaking balls and elevate the fastball a little bit. Just a little change of sequence. And keeping hitters off balance, that's the key. And the fact they're able to fill up the strike zone, I think, most important. So uh, throwing a lot of strikes, getting a lot of early outs in the ball game, keeping the defense on the toe. You know, Buck, Buck Showalter alludes this all the time. The tempo of a ball game is so important. So they're starting to pick up the pace a little bit. They're throwing strikes and the defense has been superb behind them. You know, Mike, you make a really good point about the pitchers using more pitches out there, you know, and kind of varying their speeds and everything. Uh, Miley last night, the curveball was an effective pitch for him. Got him out of some trouble in that first inning and then as the game went on, his last four innings, he started using it a lot more. Look at Gosman, that .4 ERA that he has or anything. That has also been complemented by the fact that he's getting that split finger over the plate. Now hitters can't sit on his fastball, especially when they're ahead in the count. They were looking for fastballs. And they, every single pitch that we said, even Hellickson, nice mix of pitches in his first game too. The big curveball slows everybody down. You get in those two-strike situations, they have been a lot more affected because they're changing speeds in the right place. They know it, and they're really learning something about where to put their fastballs and they're throwing them over for strikes at the same time. Yeah, they're working well right now with Castillo and both Caleb Joseph. Uh, everybody seems to be on the same page and, uh, you know, mixing in the secondary pitches I think is the most important thing right now for them. Mike, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Chris Tillman met with the media earlier today and he talked about the fact that he's been taken out of the starting rotation and now been placed in the bullpen. I haven't been pitching well enough and I, I understand that. I'm not mad. I, I, I just need to get better. I'm not going to go down there and mope around. I go down there for one reason, one reason only, and that's to get better and get back to, to being who I know I can be. You know, it hasn't it hasn't gone anywhere. It's not gone by any means. It's it's there. I just need to get back to it. And um, I think I think finally we're we're heading in the right direction. So Mike, it was a foregone conclusion just listening to Buck Showalter over the last several days that that move was going to be made. I mean, it almost had to be made, right? Yeah, un unfortunately, you know, for Chris Tillman, he has been grinding through this. He just couldn't get on board. You know, the other starters really starting to stack up some quality starts, pitching well, getting deep into ball games, and Tillman really still, you know, struggling to find that feel for the baseball. So the hope is move out to the bullpen and you start to figure some things out. You feel it out in front a little bit more, get more consistent with the fastball command. It's worked in the past for some starters. Of course, Ubaldo, every time he gets sent out to the bullpen, he comes back with vengeance. And I think the same will hold true for Chris Tillman. Yeah, maybe uh, a time or two out there in the bullpen. But Tillman will be ready to go, and I think he's going to be an integral part to their success here down the stretch. Chris Tillman's name will definitely uh, rise again and look for him to uh, be strong in September. Yeah, we definitely have not seen the last of Chris Tillman. I know what he's really capable of doing. He's been the bulldog in this rotation ever since he's been here. This is the first really big hill that he's had to climb since he's been a starter. He knows what to do out there. Right now, it's just not coming easy for him. Off the injury this winter, I think it has had something to do with the way he's delivering the ball right now. I think a couple of times out on that right field line or left field line, throwing long, building up the arm strength where it really should be. Even though he's not injured, I don't think he has that release point that he's always had and been able to go to when he's gotten in trouble. I think it won't take long for him to work his, the mechanics out in the bullpen. He'll be back in this rotation before it's over with. Mike, obviously you played a number of years at shortstop. What about you were talking earlier about the pacing of play and the pacing you know, of pitch as the game. How important is that for a defensive player? Well, I think it really is important. You know, uh, you're a pro, so you're going to go out there and you give it everything when you cross the white lines. But that when the tempo of a ball game is crisp and quick and you know the strikes are being thrown, you're just going to be on your toes and prepared for every situation. There have been some long ball games. We talked about this last night, the three-two counts. You know, you can end up being on your heels a little bit and get caught. And split second, it's a game of inches. You just never know what's going to happen. So the crispness will definitely help players stay on their toes. And, and make better plays and, and just be on top of their ball game. And I think we're seeing that here recently. The Orioles, it's like a highlight film every night out there. Mike, we always enjoy the visit, and he'll be on the game today with uh, Gary Thorne upstairs.